My name is Evan Samuelson, and I am an artist and educator living in Beacon, New York. I like the idea of creating the entirety of a piece from start to finish. Whether it's stretching the canvas or building the frame, as I add more energy to the work, it feels richer. It feels deeper. I've been creating in different forms since I was young, and about seven years ago, I made the decision to become more disciplined with oil painting. It's been the best decision of my life. I'm extremely grateful for my childhood. Growing up on Long Island provided all the things a kid could ask for. I remember riding bikes every day from sunrise to sunset. With everything being so close, we could pretty much get anywhere we needed. Thankfully, my parents trusted me and let me have that freedom. That was such a key part of my development and allowed for some exploration on my own terms. I found myself building forts in the woods with some of my closest friends. We'd constantly be on the lookout for scrap wood to drag home and add to the structure. The possibilities were endless, with even just a few simple supplies. Visual problem solving drew me in regardless of the medium. I may not have fully understood this at the time, but it was definitely setting the groundwork for where I am today. I was taking all the art classes in high school and enjoying them, but never truly gave full energy to it. At that time, playing hockey and golf was the major focus and took up most of my time outside of school. Again, I'm so grateful for these experiences, and the friends I made along the way, and the connection they provided, but they were still more of an escape. They were therapeutic and helped with my love for life, but seemed to still fall short of that introspective piece. Most of my early 20s consisted of schooling and working. There were small windows of creating scattered throughout, as mostly gift making for birthdays and things like that. As I approached 30, I was able to take on some more projects making some furniture and some wooden palette art. Whether it was woodworking or sculpting in various mediums, creating allowed me to feel connected and free. Painting seemed to be the next logical evolution. It came out of necessity, really, struggling with internal conflict and just feeling an overall lack of understanding and connection with my own psyche. Wondering why I wasn't fully present within my relationships all added into this need for something deeper. Painting provided that deeper connection. It was a complete freedom to express openly, and it's the first time I've ever truly felt that. It seemed natural for my earlier subject matter to be skewed self-portraiture. As I looked inward, the knots began to loosen up. Honest self-reflection allowed for a letting go of these preconceived ideas of who I was. And while the paintings seemed dark, they were actually this beautiful release a permission to love myself, a letting go of the traumas I had held onto for years. During this time, I began to delve deeper into philosophical teachings. Ego seemed to be quite the buzzword. All the great philosophers were calmly yelling to let go of the ego. After years of working through these ideas and paintings, it slowly began to make sense. As I allowed my driving force to settle into love, my perception of reality began to shift. In action, it looked like complete presence and genuine compassion for everyone and everything around me. Time seemed to slow down. It felt that I was able to relax into the play of life instead of being pulled around by it. The paintings evolved. I wanted to show what this genuine open connection looked like. I wanted to break down the boundaries and the barriers between us as individuals and show the power of true open compassion. I feel that as technology has grown, our human connection to nature has diminished. I'm definitely not in opposition to these advancements, but I think it's crucial that we remember our connection to the earth, what it provides in terms of nourishment and resources. I think we forget that this is a closed system. Just because we don't see the waste doesn't mean it isn't there and eventually gonna come full circle. 
I know these are large-scale issues and it will take some serious attention, but at least I can paint through these concepts while I'm making changes in my own behavior. I want the work to represent a fluid connection between the human form and plant life. This unbelievable symbiotic relationship which we've lost sight of. I'd like to think that we're moving towards a process-oriented approach to not only art, but life itself. Not that I'm looking to pin process and goal-oriented concepts against each other, but I'm feeling more strongly about the significance of process in the creative journey. Having awareness and presence are another way of allowing yourself to connect to the process of life as it unfolds. Allowing for a playfulness and wonder in each moment creates quite a magical world to exist in. And being open to the beauty within everything resonates beyond words. Currently, I've felt drawn to express the undertones and true nature of our psyche as I explore it deeper. How its development shapes our egos and our concepts of who we are. How living in a way of what we think we're supposed to be suppresses parts of us subconsciously. And how that suppression can lead to the trauma and sickness we continue to experience in various forms. Being a male sets me up for many boundaries from an early age just as a woman experiences their own version of the same. Accepting that we all exist on a spectrum or a sliding scale containing both masculine and feminine attributes is extremely powerful. Being open to allow for higher levels of empathy and having more emotional acuity as a man will greatly benefit my partner in a relationship. Accepting these parts of me which may be viewed as weak from a societal standpoint may in fact provide a safer space for communication within my closest relationships. As a society, we're being forced to explore these ideas chaotically. We are seeing it play out not only in us as adults, but in our kids as well. I hope to provide some grounded context with these current paintings, which can help show the beauty that exists in all parts of us.